Hey everybody, we are in a slightly different location. I'm loving this space. It's bright, it's echoey. Um, you're probably not gonna be able to hear that echo, but I love a space that's open. It reminds me of my freedom. Uh, freedom to create, freedom to vision, freedom to do the work that I think is so important to do with my team, for our clients, with our clients. It's really important to be in space that inspires you. So I hope that this weekend that you have had a chance to allow yourself to be inspired, to reignite this passion and this drive within yourself. One of the things that I hear often, and it's actually not even a sound that I'm hearing, as much as I'm feeling the feeling uh, with people that I work with, and even in, within myself, this happens to me, this feeling that when something isn't working out, that my worth is somehow impacted. That worth gets measured based on your performance. When you're doing a good job, your worth rises. And when you're failing, it feels like the worth, our worth is being diminished. And I think that that is something that we learned. That is a learned thought, a learned behavior, a learned way of living, because it's not true. Our worth is not wrapped up in what we do. Our work is an expression of who we are. Our manners, our habits, our character is all expressed in our work, but our worth is not negotiable. You are valuable. You have inherent value as a human being. So whether you succeed or fail, what we need to remember is that our worth is constant. And I think sometimes what happens when things get really challenging and they get kind of, we feel cooped in by our circumstances. We cooped, feel cooped in by, by the things that we perhaps are not so good at. Maybe we feel cooped in by our habits, the things that we have adopted in our lives that have just become a habit. And perhaps it's not a good habit, but it begins to define how you move through your life. When that happens, it's really easy to stop wanting to create new things going out on a limb, taking a new chance, taking a new risk, because the information you're telling yourself is that the thing that's cooping you in is defining your worth. Look, I know every metaphor breaks down and I love talking about things and, and, and kind of comparing them to other things. But I'm reminded of a friend who was, um, expert at raising pigeons and he would drive his retrofitted truck to our office he was a co-worker and uh in the morning early and the, the truck was loaded up with all of his pigeons and he would let them fly and they would race home and this is a sport and a large business apparently that i knew nothing about the fact that the pigeons were cooped up didn't define that they were excellent at flying. That was just a circumstance for them at that moment. Being cooped up does not define that you can get out and do your thing. Being cooped up does not define your abilities doesn't define who you are, and it does not define your worth. May I add that my friend and coworker was in possession of the fastest pigeon in the world at that time? The fastest, cooped up. But if you open up to new possibilities, you open up to who you really are, what else is possible? How fast can you fly? Where would you go? I think one of the most grave mistakes that we make in our achievement culture is that we allow not just our failures to define our worth, but sometimes 
even worse, we allow our successes to define our worth. And neither, neither, neither your failures nor your successes define who you are. Who you are is non-negotiable. Your human value, your personality, your character, your passion, your purpose, those are all non-negotiable things that are true about you and neither your failures nor your successes define who you are. So, could you fail? Yes. Might you fail? High possibility that you could or would and will. At least once in life, I hope you do. Could you win? Yes. Might you win? Yes. Is it very possible that you win? 100%. Do those, either one of those outcomes define who you are? No. Let your work be an expression of who you are. Put it all in. Show up. Work on yourself. Dream. Vision. Go do the work. Recognize your habits. Recognize the good ones that serve you. Recognize the ones that you've been packing on that are actually getting in your way. Work on making one change at a time. Go for it and live into your purpose and into your passion. Do not let the outcomes define your worth. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for joining me in this space where I am today thinking outside of the box a bit for myself and for my company and for the people that I get to work with. Thank you for being one of those people that I get to chat with. Thank you for sharing and commenting, for giving me your feedback. I always love to hear from you. You are the reason why I do this. Thank you. See you next time. Mm -hmm.